Hello, loyalists. Welcome to The Walking Dead, episode two. Long, long, long last. Oh, we're now into um, a part of the game where I don't actually know what's going to happen next. So this might get interesting. Long, long last. Interesting for me, at least. And down the stairs. Without a problem, despite your limp. I'm quite impressed at that. Very well done to you. Uh, there's a gate this way. Okay, we'll go to the gate then. She is filthy. Oh man, I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot this night. Well, they seem very complacent. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Yeah, and if her parents come home, they can shoot you for messing with their, with their daughter and hey, man. keep your wife. Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Hey, hey it's Sean of the Dead. <laughs> I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are... <laughs> and a pathological town. liar. <laughs> Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Yep, time to make a move. Quick, let's go. Those guys, neighbors, too. Uh, probably. Maybe one or two. But I expect all of them were actually once. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Kinda. Awkward. A little bit. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? 
Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. That's a Clementine to lie for me. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel knows your name. There's something very <sighs> creepy about happen? that little message that just popped up. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Hmm. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. Of the it's the guy. truth. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Why do people keep yeah, calling her my daughter? You've been through Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what Zombies. you saw out there, man. Stuff like that doesn't happen anywhere. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... I know what it smells like. <laughs> Dirty. My mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. You know what? I don't think he did it either. Hey, get up. <sighs> what an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Why do people keep insisting? We better get daughter? going, or we won't hear the end of it. 
That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? Mm -hmm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, yeah, uh, what's the so girl's crazy. name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay then, let's uh it's walking a lot better really. To help with the fence. There's a chapter. Checking with everyone you've met so far. Hey Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hmm. Hey, dude. Really? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. That's the designated Dad length, know how is bad it? it is. No. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I have no idea if I'm lying right oh, now. Man, I hope so too. <laughs> Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need. You just got this now. infinite Thanks. supply of wood, huh? Or designated lengths. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Hey, Lee. I'm gonna go uh, check on the others. Whatever you want, man. He's very non complacent, isn't he? Just look at the kid. Because we like looking at kids in this, apparently. Oh, there's so much wrong with this game. Anyone in here? Hello? Anybody? Spiders? No, uh, okay. About this way. Hey, dude. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No. I think I got it. Do you need any help? Probably. What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. 
You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Did that just lie? Has he got kids? Someone Kachi's told me he's got, got, got kids. sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. What's the plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Uh huh, he has a boat. It's mm. not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. So, what are we missing? Are we going to talk to them to us again? I'm, w I'm hoping for a loading screen. Our 15 minutes is up, and I don't know you when the last time it saved was. It gets lots of tangles. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Well, that's a nice way of putting about it. How is the sissy? What do you do? What do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. That's something I've, lo I've learned. <laughs> How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Optimism in this situation is not so much new and refreshing as opposed to downright creepy and weird. <laughs> Come on, save point. This is going to be a long episode. <laughs> Talk to him then. There we go. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. My leg would beg to differ. <laughs> if you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? 
I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Don't think I, I don't know either. who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Well, at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Doesn't look like the load of screen to me. 